What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a very, very interesting video uh, just to give you guys an update and to show you and demonstrate how effective and how powerful Zap Quake is not only at the Town Hall 9 level, not only at the 10v10 level, but even at the 10v11 uh, doing the hit ups on that level as well. Uh, one thing I did want to get out of the way is I want to thank all you guys. I want to thank everybody, especially for how small, at the end of the day, how small this channel is, but how much support we have from all of our subscribers, all of our viewers. Again, this ch channel is very, very small, but it's incredible the numbers that we get. It's absolutely insane. And you know, I thank you guys for coming out, for watching the videos, for liking the videos, for sharing the videos. Uh, I definitely appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, so we're definitely going to keep this train moving. And again, thank you for all of your love and support from the beginning uh, for this channel. It's been a very, very fun ride and it is going to continue. And we're going to do it with this video, Zap Quake. We're going to check out again some t some 9v9 action. This is actually from our random match that we had against Kronos. Was a very, very close war, guys. 109 to 111. If I'm not mistaken, I don't even want to look at it. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we had five dip fails this war very very not good but came very close uh in uh what was an even matchup as well even breakdown uh came within two stars of beating chronos if i'm not if i'm not mistaken they were the ndl champions right yeah ndl champions uh for the pro for the pro division pro league Shout out to Kronos, great group. Was getting all kinds of DMs from a lot of their guys over there. Uh, definitely, definitely a great group of guys. Um, you can take it from me. So shout out to Kronos. With that, even though we lost with that, we do have some incredible attacks uh, to show you guys. Shit, okay, it's this one right here. Number 28, this is going to be our Town Hall 9 action. We have Zaraki Kim Kimpachi, AKA Steve. <laughs> gonna be doing this with a tri zap guys down here at six o'clock bringing three zaps and a max quake to completely take out that entire section uh he did take out two ad's he also took out two cannons rigs why do cannons matter it's a dragon attack they matter because of funneling look at the value he's going to get from one baby dragon. He's gonna funnel that entire bottom side right there even take out that tesla uh you can see the heroes are gonna be coming in here at about 10 o'clock, uh, King and Queen are going to come down uh, just to help set the funnel. Uh, his dragon is going to be coming in right at this angle right here uh, to take on this expo. He does have a rage. Again, he brought three zaps and a quake, so that leaves him with one rage and one haste uh, for the Lalo section that he's going to be doing over there at 3 o'clock. All right, so here comes his drags, spammed them down. Brought a couple loons behind as well uh, to help out not only with the dragons, taking out the defenses, but also to absorb any uh, air traps, uh, red bombs, and seek, especially seeking air mines. Again, rather have a loon hit it than a dragon. Uh, before the dragons come in range of this AD, he goes ahead and drops down his max hound, which also absorbed a seeking air mine, followed up by a beautiful haste where he hasted in four loons uh, to help out with that hound. And you can clearly see what has happened. Look guys, his king and queen are still up. They are still up. They're going to survive the remainder of this raid. Completely smashed it. And I know it's an attack that we have featured on the channel a couple times. Uh, but just to show you guys, it's still very, very effective. Especially on those AD layouts. Uh, I actually did a whole video on it. You know what? I'll go ahead and link it. Just thought of it. I'll go ahead and link it at the end of this video. Make sure you guys check it out. It's how to take down those types of uh, bases with air defense layouts just like that. So make sure you guys check that out. Okay, so that was our little Town Hall 9 action. Now, little old me, I finally made it into one of my own videos. Also doing it uh, with uh, Zap Quake. We're going to go ahead and zap that AD right there next to the CC. We do have some minions starting off on the DE drills uh, over here at nine o'clock, because you're gonna see, we're gonna drop down a baby dragon to tank the archer towers, followed up by four loons to get that archer tower down right there up at 12. And you'll see, we're gonna get incredible value from these heroes. King's going down, uh, so baby dragon uh, helps set that funnel. 
and took out the Archer Tower to make sure that the heroes would both path down uh, as opposed to wrapping around the base. We wanted them to walk down to nine o'clock. One wizard taking out four buildings, what you know about that? And we went ahead and dropped the Zap Quake right next to that uh, clan castle. And you're gonna see some amazing value that's gonna come from this Archer Queen, okay? Went ahead and took out one air defense, a wizard tower, and an AD. Under ability, she gets the cannon. Here comes the dragons. I did see that Tesla pop. So went ahead and dropped dragons and uh, a couple loons to help get through uh, the Teslas. Look at that queen, guys, uh, before I go back to dragons. Look at that queen, almost dead, has about 30 HP left with no defenses on her, snipes at 80, no problem. We have two rages uh, raging up both sides, so we have uh, we have a nice fan, a nice dragon fan going across the base. CC loons uh, coming in here at three o'clock, also meeting up in a rage right in the core. Dragons and loons take down both of the inferno towers, which were in those two compartments side by side. And you see, we still have a haste to deploy after dropping uh, those loons as they were distracted on the dragons down there at six o'clock. And if you check it out. We still have quite a few loons up, and we still have four dragons. Uh, nothing but an expo and a wizard tower left. You guys seen it. Uh, Riggs getting a 10v10 uh, three star using zap quake. I didn't use five like Goofs, but we did use a zap quake to get that air defense. So big shout out to me. I uh, was very, very proud of that attack. Absolutely loved how uh, everything worked out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, we do have another drag attack. Okay, this one's not zap quake. Uh, so, you know, kind of going across the grain of the theme here. Uh, we did see a couple already though, but this is going to be a dragon attack. Nevertheless, again, not doing a zap quake, but what we have Ethano, AKA Valentine, uh, gonna be doing on this is he's gonna be charging all four of these ADs. Don't know how he does it. Let's go ahead and find out together. It's absolutely insane, uh, the value that he gets. And this was actually, Believe it or not, this was actually an 11, this base was dip failed by one of our 11s. I'm not gonna mention any names, but this was dip failed. So we have Athano, AKA Valentine, cleaning up a Town Hall 11 dip fail. Let's see exactly how he does it. So you see his queen just uh, charging over here at nine o'clock and just got amazing, amazing value from that baby dragon that set that nice funnel. Uh, also used a couple loons to help with that as well. Uh, and as we see, we do see the, the queen engage enemy CC, went ahead and dropped a nice runway of poisons to take that out. Uh, as it was a squishy CC, uh, which is ultimately what led to the fail on the dip, uh, not knowing uh, that there was a dragon witch that came out of it. But it's gonna be a beautiful charge and we see dragons coming in here at six o'clock and he has three rages uh, to help them along. Just set a beautiful funnel again at the start and with the king just funneling all that trash and also grabbing the Tesla as well to make sure the dragons stay inside the base. Nice wall break as we do see the, the queen charge still alive and well over here. Uh, three out of the four ADs already down and you're gonna see Valentine gonna be dropping a beautiful rage uh, that he has right there in the core as the dragons did kind of trail off over here uh, to the left, but they're gonna be meeting back up Queen is at full health when he went ahead and popped her ability. And you can see this base clearly got smashed and was a completely maxed uh, defense Town Hall 10 as well. So just an amazing queen charge uh, dragon attack uh, by Athano. Absolutely loved it. And he did have a dragon that came out of the CC as well that he brought with his dragons. Beautiful, beautiful execution. Uh, absolutely love that attack. All right, the last 10v10 before I show you guys one of our hit-ups. We have Gooves also going against the grain, but he is gonna be doing a beautiful uh, Sui Hero Lalo uh, going against the grain as far as uh, the theme uh, being the Zap Quakes, but just wait for the hit up at the very end. Uh, but we're gonna see an amazing Sui Hero Lalo from nobody other than Goofs himself. We'll go ahead and check this out. Wall Breaker down, did drop one test Wall Breaker as he does have his King and Queen uh, hoping to grab this Inferno Tower over here on the far right hand side of the base. Here comes the Wall Breakers, uh, pops it just in time before the Inferno Tower being killed them and you can clearly see that queen is going to be heading into this base right here and you kind of see how they have these compartments surrounding the inferno towers that's the kind of help uh 
kind of screw with the pathing. We did see it uh, fail a couple of our uh, Sui Hero entries to get the Inferno Tower. I really liked how Kronos had a lot of their bases designed. Goof's got that Inferno Tower down though, just in time. Uh, so he's gonna be starting his Lalo up here on the upper right hand side of the base. Starting with a CC Hound and a Camp Hound. Uh, just going to be dropping down two haste, bringing everything in. Does have a nice rage uh, for the, that core group of loons, followed by two skelly spells to ensure that the enemy queen goes down. Uh, here, come, here comes this CC Hound. Started with two camp hounds. CC Hound came in over at 9 o'clock. Followed up by more loons, and he drops a nice leading rage to take out the Inferno Tower and the Expo. Balloons are still under rage as they take out the fourth and final air defense. They're going to collapse on the Expo, and all he has left is a Wizard Tower and an Archer Tower left, and he's going to be able to get through it no problem at all. CC uh, Hound ends up popping because of his puffs, but he did have pups in there and some minions as well in the core. We're able to wipe out those pups, no problem. Huge, huge attack. Completely maxed out tier five. Uh, Town Hall 10, Goofs making it look oh so easy. Shout out to Goofs, always coming through. You guys already know, he's a household name in a clash at this point. All right, which base was it? Was it number four? No, it was not. That was Goofs getting a double, of course. Okay, we have NECA. Uh, gonna be taking on number five. Uh, doing it, as you guys see, doing it with a zap quake. Let's see how he breaks this down. He does have 12 balloons, six dragons. He does have a few baby dragons as well. Uh, and he has obviously has his 44 heroes and he has his camp hound, which is going to be setting. Look at that beautiful leading haste leading right into that rage as it's going to be lolloing over here at nine o'clock. I absolutely love this attack strategy. I don't know who came up with it, uh, but it is doing very, very well at the 10 v 11 game. Absolutely love it. Uh, cleared that whole side and look at the value he's gonna get from a single baby dragon. Nothing to harm uh, that baby dragon over there. So absolutely love the execution. Uh, here comes the zaps and notice guys, he didn't take out the AD. Went ahead and took out the sweeper and he went ahead and dropped that quake to go ahead and soften uh, everything up here inside of the core. Uh, so not zapping an air defense uh, like we saw at the Talon 9 like we did with my attack, but uh, zap quaking an air sweeper. Absolutely loved it. Here comes the heroes coming down. King leading, uh, queen right behind. Gonna get amazing value from his queen right here. Uh, he's even gonna be taking out the expo gets it down just in time and queen is going to unfortunately die to the cannon but she is all right look at the i'll just pause it real quick don't like pausing but we'll pause it real quick look at look at the runway look at the pathing leading right into this town town hall doing it with the lalo and doing it with just his heroes you guys can clearly ray charles can see that there is a clear path leading right into that town hall so we'll go ahead and see he does still have uh two rages to deploy on uh, these dragons and these balloons that he did send right behind uh, the dragons. Balloons grab a seeking air mine. And you'll see right here, uh, goes ahead and drops down the last spell being the rage right in the core. Uh, those three dragons pretty much one shot it seemed like that. Uh, maxed out CC and you can see right there, uh, already got 50%, so anything else after this is going to be extra. Uh, NECA is going to be ending this attack at 52%, so pretty funky base layout, pretty tricky, but we have NECA who ended up grabbing it with the Zap Quake, doing it with dragons. So absolutely loved it. I hope you guys like the theme of this video uh, with uh, dragons and uh, more specifically Zap Quake at Town Hall 9, at Town Hall 10, and even at the 10 v 11 game. Uh, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. The final 109 to 111 did not get the victory, but had in some incredible attacks that came uh, from this war. You guys just saw a handful of them. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, make sure you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.